Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Ozobot can express itself with movement, sound, and lights. Let's explore how the special moves and the win exit codes can be used to help Ozobot express different actions. For today's lesson, you'll need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, and your introduction to color codes lesson three, special moves and win activity sheet. In today's lesson, you will draw color codes to program your bot to move in different ways. Observe how your bot moves after it follows a color code and connect the input of a sequence of color with the output of a special move. Are you ready to start programming your bot to observe different actions? Great, let's get started. Look at your special moves and win activity sheet. Notice there are five different places for your bot to start from. Can you find the color codes key? Notice there are six different color codes in the key. Four color codes will program the bot to perform a special move and two color codes will program the bot to perform a win exit. Now look at the missing color codes on the three different pathways. Where do color codes with a sequence of four colors go on a line? That's right. A color code made up of four colors, like the special moves, need to be surrounded by a black line on both sides. What about color codes with a sequence of two colors? In comparison, a color code with two colors, like a win exit, needs to be used at the end of a black line. Now that you have found the color codes you will use and located where the missing color codes need to go, you will use your color code markers to complete all three pathways. First, you will add a tornado color code in the first pathway. Then you will add a zigzag color code in the second pathway. Since the special moves color codes are asymmetric, the spin color code will run opposite the tornado color code and the back walk color code will run opposite the zigzag. Asymmetric color codes are codes that program the bot to perform different actions when read from different directions. Next, you will add both win exit color codes on the ends of the third pathway. Finally, trace the lines on the pathway with black marker. Can you use the color codes key and your color code markers to complete each pathway? Put the tornado color code on the first path, the zigzag color code on the second path, and the win exit color codes on the ends of the third path. After your activity sheet is complete, you are ready for your bot. You will put your bot on start number one and observe how it uses the line sensor to follow the pathway and its color sensor to process the tornado color code. Then your bot will follow the color code instructions to perform a specific output or action. Can you put your bot on start one? Then watch your bot as it is programmed by the tornado color code. What does your bot do? When you programmed your bot using the tornado color code, it should have spun around. Did you also notice it changed speed as it spun? It begins to spin slowly and then gets faster. Are you ready to see another special move in action? You will put your bot on start number two and observe how it uses its line sensor to follow the pathway and its color sensor to process the spin color code. Then your bot will follow the color code instructions to perform a specific output or action. Can you put your bot on start two? Then watch your bot as it is programmed by the spin color code. How does the spin color code instruct your bot to move differently than the tornado color code? When you programmed your bot using the spin color code, it should have spun around two times. This time, the bot did not change speed. Did you notice the lights on the front of your bot also flashed as it spun? Let's move on to another special move. 
You will put your ball on start number three and observe how it uses its line sensor to follow the pathway and its color sensor to process the zigzag color code. Then your bot will follow the color code instructions to perform a specific output or action. Can you put your bot on start three? Then watch your bot as it is programmed by the zigzag color code. What does your bot do? When you programmed your bot using the zigzag color code, it should have moved forward, turning slight left, then turning slight right. It looped or repeated the sequence two times. You are ready for the final special move. You will put your bot on start number four and observe how it uses its line sensor to follow the pathway and its color sensor to process the backwalk color code. Then your bot will follow the color code instructions to perform a specific output or action. Can you put your bot on start four? Then watch your bot as it is programmed by the backwalk color code. How does the backwalk color code instruct your bot to move differently than the zigzag color code? When you programmed your bot using the backwalk color code, it should have turned around and moved in a zigzag motion backward. It is important to remember that when you use the backwalk color code or the zigzag color code, your bot needs about three inches of black line after the colored sequence to complete the action correctly and continue following the line. Now that you've seen some of the sweet moves your bot can do, let's look at what your bot can do when it completes a task or gets to the end of a line. You will put your bot on start number five and observe how it uses its line sensor to follow the pathway and then randomly choose a direction to turn at the intersection. After your bot decides which direction to turn, it will follow the color code instructions at the end of the line to perform a specific output or action. You will run your bot multiple times from start five until it has made its way to both win exit color codes. Can you put your bot on start five? Then watch your bot as it is programmed by the win exit color codes. How are the two win exit color codes the same? How are they different? When you programmed your bot using the win exit play again color code, it should have laughed, turned left, turned right, then spun. When you program your bot using the win exit game over color code, it should have made a sad sound, turned left, turned right, then spun. If any of your color codes did not run correctly, you have a bug or an error. Check your pathways for common bugs with color codes. Are your color codes surrounded by black solid lines without any white spaces? Are the colored blocks in the color codes too dark? Are there any extra white spaces between the colored blocks? Way to go exploring the special moves and win exit color codes. If you had any bugs or errors, check your pathways. Time to check your work. Does your activity sheet have three completed pathways with black lines and color codes? Does your activity sheet show the correct location of the color codes on a line for your bot to follow? Does your activity sheet show how your bot can be programmed two different ways using asymmetric color codes? Did you run your bot from all five different starts? Did you observe what the different color codes programmed your bot to do? Can you describe what the different color codes program your bot to do? Looking for more? The special moves color codes and the win exit code can be used to show Ozabot completing human-like actions or showing human-like emotions. Write a sentence about Ozabot acting like a human. Then use lines and color codes to program Ozabot to demonstrate that sentence in action. Come back again soon for our next lesson.